Hey everyone, it's Sam from Raggedy Bits and I'm going to share with you today how to turn a bit of an old dated little cupboard that I have which I've had for a few years um, but I've kept a hold of it uh, because it's great to display lots of little things in my studio and paints and things like that so and the back's falling off it so I'm going to show you how to fix all that and give it an absolutely fresh new look. rest of the uh, cabinet to dry um, I've ended up doing three coats of love bug um, sometimes with the lighter colors of milk paint you need an extra coat on darker wood so I've gone that extra extra coat today um, so while that's waiting I'm just going to show you how I'm going to turn the back piece which I've given two uh, coats of farmhouse white and I've lightly distressed uh, miss mustard farmhouse white and I've lightly distressed and I'm going to use the uh, Decor Stamps Barnwood Planks. Uh, it comes in a sheet of two, so you get two sort of textures, wood textures, this one and this one. Uh, and I'm just gonna sort of stamp and make it sort of look like it's got a, fo a false wooden back um, to give it a bit of uh, texture. So um, all I've got is my little brayer and I'm using stone grey because I like the washed out vintage look it gives. So I'm just going to pop, just show you how much I put out. Not that much, probably a bit too much. The beauty of the ink is you don't need very much. I'm just going to load my brayer up. Like 
like so. And then I'm just going to use a couple of different things. I'm going to use this stamp. You just sort of lay it out to sort of give yourself um, a bit of, you know, different sorts of textures of the wood grain so it looks like um, it's actually really wood. I'll just sort of, I'm going to make it all sort of higgledy piggledy um, and you can use like the knots in the wood as well. I'm probably end up using that one. And I'll end up using this as like a joiner. So we'll pop that in. But you do that sort of after you've done your wood planks. distress it a little bit because I've uh, probably made it a bit too heavier than what I wanted so I'm just going to distress it okay and now that I've done that I'm just going to wipe that back a bit get rid of all the dust so now it's the fun bit it's the sanding time so I'm just using a sanding block and 120 grit sandpaper. So now that she's all uh, distressed um, to my liking, I um, press pretty, didn't have to press very hard because it all came off nicely being milk paint. And then I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Sweet Picking's Dark Oil Wax um, and just use a brush. Uh, you won't be able to use the brush again um, after you've used it because it's oil based. But you can clean, clean up the brush in terps if you wish, but I just usually use an old brush. Now don't freak out when it goes on because you think, oh my goodness, you know, it's dark. <laughs> but don't freak out. So you just do it in long strokes across the painting, uh, sorry, across what you just painted. So I finished wiping off all the oil. Um, I will now leave it for 24 hours and I'll just come back tomorrow uh, with a clean cloth and I'll go over it once again just to make sure I've grabbed all the oil. But essentially what it's done is it's given it a nice aged look. Uh, you could also, if you weren't after dulling down the yellow, uh, you could use the clear oil wax. Um, it's entirely up to what you wanted to do, but it's feeling absolutely silky smooth. It's really lovely. Okay, so I've just flipped over the cabinet cupboard and I'm about to use just a normal staple gun and I'm just going to staple this backboard back into place where it's fallen out. You can also use a, an air compressor, but I'm just going to use this because otherwise I have to cut this out to the air compressor. So here we go. So I've decided that the backboard looks a little bit dull and out of place. So I'm going to add uh, some letters to it using the typesetting stamps. Um, and I've laid out, it's probably a little difficult to see on the camera, but I'll do my best to lighten it up. It says antiques for sale. And obviously, as I've said before, when I've been stamping, um, there's only one letter in each pack. So you just have to sort of line everything out um, as if you're ready to go and then move your um, stamps around after you've stamped the main design. So I'm just putting a transfer sheet over the top of my design. And I'm going to push down. Oh, 
helps if you have it round the right way. <laughs> stamp down first and then as I did before I'll just load this up and put it on the backboard. Okay so once it's lo you're loaded up your design with ink then you just pop it down make sure it's straight and where you want it to go. If you are a little scared about doing it freestyle like I am just use a magic marker or a pencil just to mark in where you want to go and then just drop it. So you just rub your fingers over the design lightly and then carefully lift it off. for the sale and then I'll just free stamp the A So I'll let that dry.